How long have you lived in San Francisco? On and off, I can't recall. Three and a half years. Seven years. What was your favorite band when you were 10? Nirvana. Tim Barrett. Maybe R.E.M. What was your favorite band when you were 13? Nirvana. <laughs> uh, Depeche Mode? Journey, maybe. What was your favorite band when you were 16? Pixies. Depeche Mode, okay. Yeah. Got a bit. Uh, Journey. What's your favorite band now? Spiritualist. Maybe Arcade Fire. Led Zeppelin. And Heart. phases growing up like I used to be into hip hop and like I used to spray paint buildings and then I was a hippie and all that shit. So what were your three most dis distinct phases you could say like growing up? Distinct. Was, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I was a total community too. Like I was I did like everything. And anyone who says they weren't is insecure because everybody goes to that shit. The tagger phase. I was a little tagger you did that with too. a little mm -hmm. Yeah, I had like long hair, you know, with the black red lipstick and the painted on eyebrows. Mm -hmm. After that I kind of morphed into this rock chick. Mm -hmm. I, I had like blonde, like white dreads with like mm -hmm. pink in them, like pink and white dreads. Like, mm -hmm. oh, dude, it was so terrible. <laughs> it was so terrible. I never changed. I'm, I'm the same as when I was a little kid. I'm the same as when I was a wee baby. <laughs> I had this funny walk is the thing. I, I didn't realize it. Like I started realizing it was kind of um, that I had a funny walk in second grade. I was a swimmer. I was like, I swam year round competitively and I used to travel and stuff. And so I people referred to me as buff girl or buff chick or like gorilla girl if they were mean because I was really, really built mm -hmm. because I used to lift weights every day. When I quit swimming competitively when I was like 16, I turned into a hippie because I kind of felt like it was the only way for me to uh, kind of be comfortable with myself after going through like a weird athlete phase. What made you want to play the musical instrument that you play? I played bass and uh, honestly what, what made me want to play it was I thought it'd be easier. I thought like I got the easy way out, you mm -hmm. know, until I actually learned how to play and um, kind of screwed myself because you can't really sing. It's so much harder to sing and keep the rhythm, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and be interlocked with the drummer. I mean, like, piano was my first instrument. My mom, my mom's my biggest influence. She really, like, kindled my love for music and developed my ear, I think, because she used to sing to me all the time when I was little, and and I used to mimic her on the piano because she was a classical pianist. And so I was, like, playing the little Mozart sonatas by ear and stuff when I was really young. I remember being a little kid, back to that, I'm the same person, and I remember um, my stepmother asking me what I wanted to be when I grew up, and I said, I want to be a singer. And she's like, oh, you can't be a singer when you grow up. <laughs> I guess I always kind of wanted to play guitar, but it took a long time to actually sit down and learn how to do it. Because I have no rhythm, like I don't have a lot of rhythm. I've got to take my own rhythm. You know, yeah. but then like after that, you know, it's like once you do it the first time, you go crazy, and it's like seven times a day because you just you want to try all these things right, and shit right, like right. that. And you're like, ah. I had this girl I really liked her on um, Porsche, and we didn't have sex for like a year because I just thought that that the love we had, well, I just thought that of course we wouldn't. I just thought it was more. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what I thought, but. I did finally, like a year later, take a bunch of mushrooms 
And then she's coming to visit me, and I was like, what? What? What am I waiting for? And then mm -hmm. we had some sex, and I thought it was really fun. You know, like, um, any sex drive that you have, like, it, do you feel that that drives your music at all? Do you feel like... Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, totally. Always has been. Always will be. If sex and music is the same, same thing. Fucking same, same thing. Part of my language. Same thing. Yes, absolutely. Everybody knows that. Any musician, anybody that's really a musician knows that. Yeah. I mean, it depends. I mean, a gust of wind can make me horny sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I, I like, I like sexual things, period. Even like if it's just sexual things around me or sexual people. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty of songs like what, we have a song called Girl and Girl Action. We have a song called Baby Come Back to Bed. Yeah, let's say so.